Hello everybody and welcome back to Magical Melody. We are on the 28th day of spring, which is going to be our last festival day for the month and we're actually almost done spring as well, so that's pretty exciting. Today is the cow festival and we don't have a cow, but we're going to go see what it's about and hopefully next year we'll be able to actually participate in the festival, so let's go. So it's going to be in the square, as usual. There's only a couple festivals that don't take place in the square. Even if they don't, funnily enough, a lot of them you have to go to the square to start the festival, even if it takes place in a different location. It's kind of strange, but anyways, here we are. The annual Spring Moo Moo Cow Festival is finally here. We apparently weren't aware that it was called the Moo Moo Cow Festival. It makes it sound a little more interesting, actually. Hey, Nixos, I'm glad that you're here. Are you going to enter your cow? Yes, I'm going to enter my invisible cow that I don't have. I see, that's too bad. Next time, please enter a cow. It's almost as if he's scolding you. He's like, well, why did you come if you don't have a cow? You're letting us all down. But, whatever. So we're going to go and talk to some people as per usual. Here's Hank. Raising animals can be very challenging. But it sure is comforting seeing healthy animals out in a meadow. I probably sound like a really butch Miley Cyrus when I do that. The cows in this game are really cute. They're really big, but they look really fluffy and very, very friendly. I'm actually a huge fan of the way they did the cows in this game. I think they're very, very well done. Over here we've got Jamie. I guess this is maybe his stock of milk from his cows. Huh. Of course my cow is going to come in first. Why don't you just go home now? Well, I don't have a cow to compete, so obviously it's not really much of a competition. When you let cows graze, I think they tend to grow cheerful. Sure enough, it seems that letting them graze freely is a good thing. Yes, because they can eat all the grass that they desire out of the ground. I love cheese. Raise livestock well so the cows give plenty of good milk. Man, I love dairy products. Milk, cheese, yogurt, cottage cheese, all that good stuff. I, could, I couldn't live without it. I would die if I was lactose intolerant. Milk has lots of calcium and is an excellent food source. But it hardly matters at all if you don't exercise. Because it's also loaded with fat. And there's the bell to announce the results of the contest once we've talked to everybody. And of course, because we don't have a cow, Jamie's going to win automatically. So we're going to feed his ego even more. Although it's funny, I don't know why Hank's cow didn't win, but... That will conclude the cow festival. Raise a good cow for next year's festival. We hope that you attend next year too. Good work, everybody. I love how everybody always does things in perfect synchronization, like everybody waved at the exact same time. So now that that is done, we don't actually get a note from it because we didn't actually participate in the festival, we didn't enter a cow, we were just kind of a spectator. So you have to remember that about a lot of festivals, is you won't get the note for them unless you actually participate in what it is that the festival is about. So, and I'm gonna go feed my chicken, because my chicken is still in here. It doesn't look like he ate his food. Maybe he was full from the day before. I did put him outside for quite a while, but uh, he seems to be doing very well so far. I haven't missed a day of feeding him, and I've been putting him outside in good weather. And I've gotten an egg every single day, so I'm very pleased about that. And now I'm going to kind of waste my day. I'm going to just go ahead, go in my house, and go to sleep. And I have some updates that I want to show everybody. And I need people to be outside for me to show them. So I'm going to hit the hay here. And I'm going to do a few updates. There's not too many, but a couple of important ones that I think I need to get taken care of before the end of the season. If I go over to where my letters are, you can see that I got an invitation from Martha in my mail. They just built a sanatorium behind the clinic. I'm not saying that you'd have to be hospitalized, but do take care of yourself, Martha. 
sanatorium is like a care center or a hospital so they built like a hospital behind the clinic and we're going to go and meet some new characters today also want to go over a couple of notes that I've got off screen and some friendship levels that I'm working on as well as some other things that I've done what's unique about the sanatorium is it's open really really early I don't know if I actually examined the sign for the hospital but it's one of the only buildings that's open right at 6 o'clock in the morning. So if you have a gift in your bag to give to Alex or to Martha, you can just come here and get that out of the way as soon as you wake up and then continue on with your day kind of thing. And here, just behind the clinic, just like Martha said, is this really big building. And this is the sanatorium, which is also open from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. And there's a couple of characters that we have yet to meet. So let's go inside. And we're greeted by this girl here, who I actually married in my boy file. She's probably my favorite female character. H hello, you live in this village? I work here at the sanatorium. My name is Gina. Gina, where's my book? Oh, dear. This is Nixos, who runs a farm in this village. This is Dia. I am Dia's attendant. Well, she's not very polite now, is she? Hmm... Did I scare her? Or is there something on my face? D dia I apologize. It's, it's that Dia has an intense fear of strangers. So, I'd enjoy it if you dropped by to chat. I'm new to this village and I have a few friends. Or I have few friends. Well, good luck with your work. Alright, so these are two new characters and two new marriage candidates. Gina and Dia are both available if you're playing as a male. Gina is a nurse who takes care of Dia, and uh, Dia is a very fragile and sick girl. And you may notice that Gina and Martha kind of look alike. They've got that really, really bright, intense blue hair. They're related. Martha is Gina's grandmother. So in order for the sanatorium to be built, you have to unlock Martha first and then you ship 30 herbs in your shipping bin. Martha will then send you the letter telling you that the sanatorium has been built. So Dia is, is really similar to Kurt and they actually are the quote-unquote rival couple in that she seems boring and standoffish at first but once you get to know her she's very very sweet. I don't feel good. Please don't talk to me much right now. So, as you get to know these characters, you learn a bit more about them and they become a little bit more interesting. So we're going to uh, do that over a certain amount of time. But for now, I think that's it. There's a really good gift for Dia in summertime that I hope to use to get her friend points up. And that was about the only really big thing that happened that I wanted to really show off. It's not happening today, but a couple of days in the season, I've had every single person that we've met that doesn't live in the village in the square. I literally had Carl, Dan, I had Ronald, I had Duke, and I had Doug all just hanging out in the square for no apparent reason. And I wanted to show that off because people that will eventually move in but haven't done so yet will kind of hang around in town and you can talk to them and give them presents but they don't actually move in and it's just it's kind of strange that they just kind of you know hang out and they don't really have much uh, much purpose but not today I guess everybody is out doing their own thing so I'm gonna do a little bit of mining and a little bit of foraging and my regular type routine stuff today while the day is still young but I would like to show off a couple of 
the notes and things like that that I have got. I've also gone to the library and I've read every single one of Maria's books. So hopefully I'll be able to read her new books when summertime comes and I'll eventually be able to get that note for reading every single book in the library. So I want to look at a couple of totals here. Uh, as you can see, I've got a couple of people with one heart. It does not take very long to get heart points up in this game, which I really, really like. And at two hearts, every single person that's eligible for marriage, whether they're a female or a male, will come to your door and give you a present. And you get a note for every single time that somebody brings you a present at two hearts. So. I'm hoping to get massive notes as well as some videos of the gifts that they give you and, and things like that. So slowly but surely um, I'm working on it. I'm also going to be able to get that rucksack upgrade. I hope cross my fingers from Martha when I get her to two hearts. And it's a work in progress. If I have a gift that they like I will give it to them. But I have a lot of time so I'm not overly worried about it right now. I think I've only gotten one more note since the last time that I recorded and it's actually a pretty important one. It's called the Treasure Hoard Note and it's received for shipping each type of ore. Now this means that you've shipped everything that you can find in the Moonlight Cave. So this is junk ore, bronze ore, silver ore, gold ore, rare ore as well as limestone and moonstones. So there's about seven different types of items that you can find in the mine. Once you ship all of them, once, you'll get this note. And the blacksmith will also move in very, very soon, which I am really, really excited for because that means that I can upgrade all of my tools. I've started to work on my tools a little bit. I realized that my sickle, for example, had no use whatsoever, but eventually I do want to upgrade it. So I started to just go out when I really didn't have much else to do and I started cutting down some grass to get its level up. But when the blacksmith comes, it's going to be awesome because I can already upgrade my hoe, I can upgrade my hammer, and I'm really close to being able to upgrade my axe. So exciting things are on the horizon. I've only got two more days in spring and you're going to see a lot of changes in summer. So I hope you guys are really looking forward to that. That's going to be it for me, so thank you so very much for watching, and I hope that I will see you next time.